perhaps better of him. Nur Ali Zadran, 32 games. Would like to go up on that average. He's an opening batsman. And you have the star right here on your screen. Everything depends on how good can he be today. Can he provide them a good start? Can he bat till the end like Masakadza did? Neville Mudziva. And he's going to be delivering to Mohamed Shazad. Straight away, swing of the bat. That's one to mid on. Got a bit of bat on that one, feels. We'll wait for the umpire signal. Yeah. Fall on the, the pads. It's been worked very nicely, at least for a couple. So Nur Ali also gets off the mark. Should do, do good to his confidence. Once again, on the leg side, this is a good shot. The runs here for Afghanistan. And four of them, yes. That's not a very good line. First up from Aziba. Little bit of width. That's a fantastic shot. Mohamed Shazad, we speak about how he loves playing the ball through and over the onside. This time he's been given a little bit of width outside off stump, and he obliges. That's a good shot. That's hit very hard. He squeezed that one out. And he's found himself that enough space in the offside field to get a boundary here. Likes to go hard at the ball. That's picked up. He'll clear that inner field, and it may not go all the way, but he's got runs for himself. That's well done by the fielder. Moore giving it the chase. Baskin complete two. That is so well done. He's made that shot. He's created it. MS-77. He's maneuvered himself into a position and pulled it away. And down at fine leg, Luke Jongwe chasing in vain. That's a good shot. Four runs. Again, the fuller land. Again, the same result. It's going to be punished if he's going to ball that line. It's too full. Two leg stumpish. Three overs ball, 23 for none. That's so straight. That looks good. Always looks good. We'll go to the boundary. We heard earlier at the pitch report, Bazid Khan talking about where the runs would be scored today. He spoke about the ball going straight down the wicket. And this is exactly what he's done. He's just waited on that. That's the length I'm talking about. He bowls one of those in an over, and he gets punished for it. And he's got a thick edge. He will clear the inner field, and he's got a boundary. Zimbabwe under pressure at the moment. Third man region gets them four runs. Six overs completed, 40 for none. Short cut away. Beautiful shot. With from Luke Jongwe once again, he's waited for that beautifully and he's caressed that through the offside field. Four more runs. Raza, Raza. It's been a quiet over. Oh, are we going up to the third umpire? Yes, we are. All eyes on Vineet Kulkani now. I get the feeling that Mohamed Shahzad was just taking it a little bit casual. Pick up and throw. Raza. Direct throw would have been interesting. I think Shazad just looks as if he's home, but a direct hit. Mohamed Shazad uh, has uh, got in there in time. Oh, that's the wicket. What a big wicket this is for Zimbabwe. Just a little bit of nip back. He's missed it. Not far forward enough. Chezad goes for 25, Afghanistan 49 for 1. Former captain of Afghanistan, uh, Navroz Mangal, 31 years of age. What an over has been here from Jongwe. 
49 for one Afghanistan. And there was half a chance off a wicket again. Nur Ali gets it through to the boundary. But it's a fantastic effort. Creamer at cover. A valiant dive. Yes, and I'm, I'm sure for a fraction of a second, Nur Ali had his heart in his mouth. Oh, that wasn't too far away from Graham Creamer. And what an effort. Edge! Gone! Wicket number two for Chung Wei. Short and wide, a little bit of extra bounce. And for the cut shot. Big edge and a good catch from Richmond. Mangal goes for two, 59 for two. The new man at the crease would be at the non-striker end. Uh, Hashmatullah Shahidi. That's the technical flaw. Squares up a bit. Yeah, just with the angle, wasn't any swing movement away. It was just the angle. No movement off the feet. Good shot there. He's found the gap. Just ever so slightly over pitch by John Way. The right idea. Just missed his length fractionally. That was a good looking shot. Just two full. And just hit through the line. It's a good shot. Oh, that's a good delivery. And a terrific kick. Oh, what a wicket this one from Zimbabwe. Control. Was good height on that bounce. And that's a comfortable catch. A good catch at the boundary. Chisoro. Big wicket. As Nurali out for 30. 66 for 3. Pression says it all here for Afghanistan. After 13, they are 66 for 3. Out walks Muhammad Nabi. Average close to 30. A healthy strike rate as well. That's done fine. In fact, the fine leg is very square, so that will run away to the boundary. It's a welcome boundary. Spoils the over, really. Four of the last ball. 70 for three. This is in the air. Oh, drops well, just short. I wonder whether that was catchable or whether he misjudged it. But these are important uh, opportunities. That's the captain. Should have gone for it. Yeah, that's a good delivery from Neville Madzira. Deceptive, short, skids onto the batsman. Alton Chigumbura, I think, might have just misjudged that. But yeah, falling well short. Hey. Quick single here. Good running, good running. Yeah, that's a good run. He saw the man back on the circle. And as soon as he hit that, he was off like a jackrabbit. Good running. About Ariel. Good afternoon. One run man at sweeper. For the big match, the big game, the it reminds me very much of uh, one Nathan Astle who used to bowl for so New Zealand many wins, years ago. The, the Afghanistan is a little bit away. He loves the whiff, doesn't he? There wasn't all that much with on that delivery. He's rocked back, giving himself a little bit of space, and he's cracked that back with a point four. Now, what's the what's the idea behind this bowling change of bringing Masih Bazar on? Obviously, this is a more containing mission. You're trying to get a few cheap overs in. So when you have cream of the leg spin as an attacking option, why not bring him on? Of course, the very very fast scoring, hard hitting. Well, on the offside, short and wide. They won't come back for the second, but again, you could see that this is what a part time bowler can do just bowl short, allows the batsman to settle in, gives the batsman time in the middle, gives a good sighter. Got a boundary, welcome boundary there for Hashmat been struggling to match up with the number of balls he's faced it's been slow but that would just add to the tally 
poor delivery. Way down leg side, he just had to catch up with it. Easy boundary. Hundred brought up with that single, but wrong way off our Afghanistan. Down the wicket, he's got hold of it, and he's hit it out of all, oh, almost. A very controlled hit from Nabi. Just got to the pitch, Sikandar Raza from round the wicket, turning it back in. He's just gone over midway, stayed with the shot, and fantastic connection. The call is for two. Can Matiba throw it to the right end? Easily completed by Mohamed Nabi. Oh, that should be out. That is out. That's dead in front. That's the breakthrough they wanted. Looking good, but not anymore. Straight at one, quicker delivery. Bang, right in front. Kramer provides the breakthrough. Nabi out for 26. It's 121 for four. The captain walks out, changes number, Asghar Stanakzai. And uh, yeah, today is. Today he's got to make sure he gets some runs. Oh, he's cleaned him up. Sikandar Raza. Afghanistan now in trouble. Straight delivery, a little bit of inside edge, maybe. But Sikandar Raza provides the breakthrough. 32 out, Ashmat, 121 for five. Oh, has, how did it miss the stumps? How did it miss the stumps? He's gone for buys, I suppose. We'll wait for the umpire. Yes, they are. Four buys. But how did it miss the stumps? Goes past the outside edge. Kramer has been good. A leg spinner, a good leg spinner. So Naib will get another single. He's not happy. This time, he opens his shoulders and gets a welcome boundary. That's naive. Yes, surely. This is confidence building in naive. Got to play with a lot more freedom than what he has done up till now. Now, he's that out. They're asking the question, the slow death. The captain's gone, Stanik Zay, looking to cut. Wanting to play here. Too close to his body to be playing that shot. And uh, like we've mentioned that he's bowled brilliantly today, Sikandar Raza. The captain doesn't do much here. 146 for six. Rashid Khan, um, just 17 years. Yes, yes, yes. Hey! Okay, okay, okay. Gets off the mark with a single. 147 for six. 35 overs completed. He's played that in the air and he's played it very well. That will go for six. Looking to get some turn, a little bit too full. That is beautifully played. Crunch out of the middle of the bat and just getting over the boundary for six. A good shot, he knew it. He knew he's got enough on it. Well done. So the two spinners have a ball of his 20 overs on the trot. 161 for six. Ziva was being hit by Shazad from the other end and does again. And that's cut away. Too much room. Diving effort down in the boundary, but I think that's going to be for Chamunor Baba, the man. And uh, I think he signaled that that's gone over the boundary for four. And I just saw a short and wide and helped away by Gulbadin. It's the third man boundary for four. Big shot. Does the fielder get it? Yes, he does, but he falls over. I'm not sure that's going to be six or is it? Good work from Sikandar Raza. Raza 
running around from the long on position almost overran it took the catch and that's going to be six runs nice angled in quick single it's lost the ball batsman that's a good over as well but nine runs 176 for six in fact 177 for six after 42. And this is big it's gone out over the line for six zimbabwe missing a trick here because he, they appear to be bowling to the strength of nine which is to pitch the ball up and in the length area yeah very much so low full toss and he struck that magnificently well fielder on the boundary but did not matter maybe going full is not the option he likes hitting down the ground will be used to hitting these straight hits maybe he could gamble at putting fine leg back again he goes splits the gap he's gone for six more back to back sixes the 50 partnership is up An even better one it's gone flat a skimmer brings up the 50 partnership and brings the crowd to life he's getting the left leg out of the way and bam it's something that they think they can trust to try and overhaul oh that's six that's out of here that's his 50. you can't bowl such friendly deliveries to him not the way zimbabwe should be bowling in night he's having a he's having a feast fantastic hitting but he's coming and uh, made his presence felt this time he four more runs he picks the gap runs are coming thick and fast afghanistan should be the favorites at this stage over cover down towards the boundary it will reach it this is Matziva's turn to be taken apart 16 runs so far five balls length offered again this time outside the off stump for the match ball because he's played the uh, real decisive innings Masakadza no doubt anchored a Zimbabwean inning Blast it through mid off. That will rest. Giving Matziva this over again. And once again, easy pickings. Full flow of the arms and it's gone through the boundary in a flash. This is lofted in there. Might be taken at long off. It is. So Matziva breaks through. But has it come? A little bit too late, I wonder. This time, Rashi just chipping it, didn't go through with the shot. And a good catch. He's done his job. 31, 231 for seven. Hansi by this. Naib touching it down to long on. Samir Weiss is the new batsman. Last ball of the over. Oh, ball him! That's a big wicket. They needed this. Poor shot from Mahesh Ashraf. He's gone without scoring. 232 for eight. Zadran is the new batsman. But this is going to be the critical over. 17 of uh, 12 balls. Starts off with a full toss and goes through the keeper. And what a start for the over. It's Baiz. Afghanistan gets closer. And is that the match? First ball of the last over. Goes over cover. There is a man on the boundary. Will they come back for the second? They will. But that's a good start for the Afghanistan. Uh, 
inside, they've got two. Gets an outside edge, it runs down the third man. Afghanistan getting closer, three or four. Outside the off stump, gives it the chicken, the kitchen sink, and it's gone to the boundary. Four runs, that's all that matters. A stroke away now, the Afghans. Should be looking for two here. They'll run the first run hard, they'll come back for two. And scores a tight. He thinks, he thinks Afghanistan has won, but I think they need, need one more. But they can't lose from here. They can't lose from here because the scores are tied. <laughs> they just need one run. And then in style, Afghanistan has dismissed it. Finishes it off with a six. Two wicket clean to Afghanistan. And Naib, Naib I should say, has gone up to 82 with an outstanding shot over Scarlett. Comes in at number seven, Naib, and scores the highest score in Afghanistan cricket. 82 of just 68 balls. What a beauty. And the winning hit sailed over the field, was brought in, didn't matter. His 6-6 six, six, as he guides Afghanistan to victory, an unlikely victory, and an unlikely hero. Jazad, a wonderful series for him. He comes up. What a fantastic knock. Afghanistan, now a force to be reckoned with. One day cricket, here they come. Zimbabwe should be disappointed. They should be rich. So that's the story of the game. An outstanding win by Afghanistan. Just coming back, coming from behind, coming from nowhere. Overhauling that uh, Zimbabwean score of 248, 254 for eight. With just two balls remaining, winning the match by two wickets and the series three matches to two.